Hello, and welcome to a video I never thought I'd be making. Uh, this is my debut in the OCRP iRacing League. I am shocked I am racing in this. Uh, this Talladega race was a couple weeks ago now, so I'm just getting around to doing it um, now. <laughs> but uh, first I want to say thank you to Kyle C and Bearder for uh, getting me in here. Um, I was shocked when uh, Kyle invited me and uh, yeah so I wouldn't be here without Kyle or Bearder uh, I had a lot of fun in the B Legends uh, series Bearder ran and um, yeah so I'm racing with the same guys uh, since everyone in the B Legends series were uh, from this from this league so I've been watching these guys for a few years now uh, and I, I just yeah I'm just shocked <laughs> and that I'm racing with them. So uh, this is the first lap, opening lap. And I've never ran a plate race before, so this is all new to me. I feel like there's a lot of new things going on <laughs> with, uh, I don't know, me in general, I racing and gaming, I don't know. So uh, yeah, just uh, grateful to be here. And my main goal is just to not wreck anyone not to be involved in any incidents. I don't want to make anyone upset. I did pretty well with that in the B Legend series. I had like the least amount of incident points or whatever it's called. And yeah, so just gotta replicate what I did there and do the same thing. Uh, so we got one lap down. I'm not gonna show the entire race, just gonna do some little clips and stuff. Uh, to be a mix of like my POV like this and some TV cameras so yeah I'm just trying to learn uh, like I said I never done a plate race so I don't know how runs develop you know how the truck reacts if I move back and forth too much or uh, yeah anything uh, so we're falling in behind Cyrus just staying at the back of the pack I didn't qualify uh, Cyrus I am comfortable with because he was in the uh, B Legends uh, series so, I know him, I'm comfortable with him, um, yeah, there's like 26 cars, I think, in the, for trucks in the field tonight, so, um, I gotta stop saying so, anyways, <laughs> or, and that too, <laughs> uh, it's been like a month since I recorded something, so, we gotta get back in the, in the rhythm, uh, yeah, just trying to follow around, see, uh, how the truck reacts, for some reason everyone went up high here, not sure why. I didn't really want to be a pie. I feel like I can hold a steady wheel down low. So, yeah, so I went low, just follow along the line. So we made up some spots. I don't really want to get up to the front of the pack or even try to. I uh, just want to get a, get a feel for this, stay out of trouble, and hopefully be there at the end. And, yeah, make your way to the front towards the end. Uh, so here's Wes. This is a few laps later. I, I forgot to put a lap counter um, or even check the laps when I was recording these clips. So I am not sure what lap this is, but this is like five to eight laps into the race now. Uh, we're behind Wes, one of the faster or fastest guys in the in the league. So I can learn from him here. And he gets a pretty big run on that red and gray truck. I don't remember any of the paint schemes. I just know Wes because he got his name on there yeah, so we take the run too I go with him and I decide if I'm gonna go with anyone I'm gonna go with him because yeah he's really good and we had a scary moment with that red McDonald's truck blocking Wes pretty pretty late there um, so I didn't like that and I decided I'm just gonna drop back down stay low even though I would like to learn a little bit uh, follow Wes through uh, but yeah I don't want to risk anything yeah, we're just sticking to the bottom line. Uh, you can tell Wes really wants to get up there, and he's finally getting the help. Uh, but that red truck got in the wall. So, yeah, we're zooming ahead uh, a few laps. Yeah, just uh, I don't want to be too far back. Um, I kind of want to be close enough so I can see what's going on up here. Uh, just in case there's an accident, or just so I can see how drivers are racing. 
I know it's hard, boys, but try not to bump or chase you. Keep it between the lines like on a highway. You'll stay a lot safer. I believe that was Cyrus who's giving everyone up here some advice. But, uh, yeah, they don't take it. We got a big accident. Looks like some drivers were not holding their line, and we almost made it through. We got clipped by a car spinning back down the track, and I was so frustrating. All in that turn. <laughs> I, I don't know what he said. He always says some weird stuff. I've noticed. Hey, 18, wait till everybody's gone to start backing up, buddy. So, yeah, that uh, sucked. We uh, were going to get through there pretty easily. I stopped, I stopped. But, uh... Hey, a lot safer. Yeah, well, not easily. That was... I was so, uh... <laughs> panicky in that moment. Like, oh, gosh, dang it. Here we go. Already, it was like 10 laps into the race. And, um... Yeah, just almost made it through. And we just get little taps here and there. And, um... Yeah, I don't know. Somehow that ended up being a... All in that turn. <laughs> being a, a minute and a half of repairs. Um... So here's uh, the accident up ahead. You know, just uh, I don't know, just too much going on. So we uh, got involved, unfortunately, and yeah, we have a minute and a half of repairs. I didn't want to take the faster repair just in case there's another accident later on. And so I'm gonna come in. Like right here, I'm messing around with my uh, tire settings. I'm going to uncheck the tires. And I didn't uncheck them in time. So they are changing just the right sides. They didn't, I luckily unchecked to the left. Um, I guess that processed through in time. But um, yeah, they didn't, didn't get the right sides off. So I lost some, what, like eight seconds of repair time? Hey, Tony, hey, firm, restart zones are yeah, off. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think. I mean, I'm, I'm not. I don't race. I'm not racing that often when I do. It's just been, you know, the B Legends and now this. So I, I don't really know what can give you big damage. So I screwed up, and so about eight seconds is not a big deal. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah, buddy. But I come back and down to the road. I've got a penalty for close it road. And I forgot to uncheck the tires again. Serve it. So they're not just changing the right, they're changing the left sides too. And I completely screw up. So now that's what, like 14 seconds of repairs I lost? Or space car. Um, right now I had about 30 seconds left. And I just heard over the radio that the pace car is in the middle back. And we are going green this time, so I gotta I get out of there. I answer for that. Check. Get out of here really quickly. Try to catch up to the field. Yeah, look at Tony. I think they changed it at some point. I think it used to be an EOL. Now I think it's a hold penalty. Here's a nice look at our Benadryl truck. It's a hole that's going to have to come under green. I like how it came out. I like the custom number, too, I made. Yes, sir. I don't know. So yeah, there's a good look at okay, our car. You have that penalty, um, I wanted something that matches the channel yeah, colors. And I looked up some companies with blue, white, and pink uh, logos. And I found Benadryl. So I edited it a little bit because it's not the exact colors. But yeah, I like it. Kind of Damn, weird. Tony, I thought you were just and uh, yeah, me, we're man. zooming ahead. Uh, but the <laughs> restart, the race has been restarted, and yeah, we did yeah, not catch I'm up to the field. So that here. I, I was so pissed off. I'm not pissed, but I was just so I'm upset. Off the like, down, so. I'm not used to these uh, pit cycles, pit options. Uh, so yeah, still learning, but just frustrating, especially on a track like this. It's you know. I'm going to be like five seconds off the pace each lap. Now, so here's like ten laps later. Uh, I'm going to stay high here and let them go. I was told by Tony um, under the next caution that, you know, we should, lap cars should just stay below the yellow line. Uh, not really a place you can get your lap back. But, um, yeah, I, I didn't know that. So, now I know for next time. Learning again. Just learning. I feel bad though, <laughs> but uh, it's okay. I didn't cause any issues. So we're okay. Sounds good. And what I did here, if I knew there were only two more trucks to let by, I would have just dropped behind them. But I dropped in front of them, and I <laughs> this I felt really bad. Like in the moment, like dang it, you know, am I doing something wrong? I probably am. I should have just let them by, but I, I couldn't tell in the mirror, like. If there's still like 10 more cars to go and I don't really want to be that far back so plus 
we just heard over the radio drivers are pitting so um is it this lap or next lap i don't know i forget what they said or the sequence of events um so what i'm planning to do is just right around and when they pit i'm just gonna stay out and hopefully Akashi comes out and i back on the lap so yeah so one group is in here's the second group crack, 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 crack. Uh, that's your plan to stay out hope a caution comes out once these guys pit but <laughs> the caution comes out now big crash Tony, I not really big crash you. but uh, oh pretty scary one right in front of us uh luckily we you, Tony, and Tony we're low me enough to be Kyle. able to dodge it <laughs> so uh sorry about that guys uh yeah so uh scary a little moment uh, that's why I didn't take my faster pair, just in case something like this happens. Luckily, I didn't get any damage from this. I did make contact a little bit with Tony, uh, but we're okay. So yeah, the 29 truck came down, I think. I didn't really get a good look at it in this replay. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just, uh, very lucky to get through there. That was a close call. I think we're about, I think this is like lap 30, 35. Yep, here's a pure V. Um, yeah, that was a close call. We're about half, we're past halfway. Here's the restart now. And um, yeah, I am back on the lead. No, no, I'm still lapped down at this point. Um, but I think the 70, you can't really see the number, but I don't know who it is. In the middle line behind Wes, there's a black and blue truck. He is the first car. Ooh, <laughs> excuse me. Yeah, he's the first car. A lap down and then the next one is on the left side in front of Cyrus the black and blue one pretty sure I know well, he's for sure a lap down I don't know if he's the next one but yeah so we got to battle these black and blue trucks for the free pass um, it's kind of a mess up there I don't really want to get in there I didn't really get too much drafting practice because I was a lap down um, well I was off the pace so I didn't really get too much time in the draft and I'm just staying up here. I'm getting a good, uh, well, I'm getting a good whiff of the draft to just uh, stay up high. I wanted to be up there so I can look and watch the pack to see if anything happens. And something did happen. That white truck, uh, I forget who it is, um, right, right, right. had a little incident. And again, that white truck, and the, I think the black truck too, had another little incident. I think a caution does come out for this. Yes, the caution is out. Um, yeah, that's the reason why I was kind of just staying up high, just so I can see, get a good view of the pack. I did not get the free pass, so I decided to come down, take the last set of tires I have, and fill up with fuel, because again, I messed up my pit settings. There's a setting, an option, that you can add like a buffer lap. So like if the race is 50 laps, you can add an extra lap of fuel, so that you can make it. But the thing is, we have uh, green white checkers. So if there is one, I will not make it. And uh, yeah, so I decided to pit and top off on fuel. No fuel issues. So we're back into this. I'm pretty sure the 70 is on the free pass now. Not the free pass. We got the free pass. And not so I, I don't Yeah, the 70 got the free pass. And the 93. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what was going on there. I think he was, didn't expect me to be behind the white truck, so he came down. Uh, no big deal. I mean, that's not going to cause us any big damage. I was so scared in the moment that my wheel, like, locked. I couldn't turn uh, left or right because uh, of, of the contact. Um, so here's another huge accident. Uh, we squeezed through. And, uh, yeah, another luck. Another luck, another lucky moment. Um, but we did get the free pass. The black and blue truck was involved, but luckily, I think I squeezed through before the car came out, so I was scored a, um, the first car lap down, and I was able to get the free pass. Hundred percent my fault. I'm so here's the replay. I'm, I'm just so happy I didn't get into the back of, of Andrew there. 
And yeah, we're through. So we got the free pass. I'm very excited about that. Here's another restart. This is, I think, like five laps to go. Maybe a little less. The and the inside line checked out. Oh, yeah, I felt it. So we go around the outside. But this uh, McDonald's truck was... Uh, this McDonald's truck was scaring me earlier. So I, like, blipped the throttle just in case he decided to block me. Like he blocked Wes earlier. But, uh, yeah, we're good. We're clear. Charles and there's another accident. And decided wow. to dive was... down just in case. And, um... Or Tony's yeah, that was a... Uh, that was a weird uh, choice by me to follow down there. That could have been like an arc of brakes moment if someone was just like spinning down there. I didn't like get on the brakes, so um, I don't know. I, I always feel like I should follow the crash that way. Um, you know, I don't know. It seems like something to do. <laughs> uh, but Orndorf came on the radio. This is the final restart. Orndorf came on the radio and said that he was running out of fuel. So I was trying to get around him, but I couldn't. I couldn't really tell which line he was going in. So unfortunately, a bunch of cars on the lap, um, a lap down past us, and so I got to deal with them uh, to make up some spots. All right, bud, that is enough. Weird stuff going on here between the 55 and Cyrus Ogle. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that was a questionable, but whatever. Uh, a couple less cars to deal with. Um. Yeah, so we're luckily we're just hanging on to the draft here. Uh, but yeah, we got some lap cars in the mix, unfortunately, since I got checked up on the restart. Uh, we do get a massive run through the trial hole. We decided to take our run low. And there's a big accident on the top side. You just make a buy with Evans. Uh, there's still, yeah, still a few cars a lap down that are still in the mix. Uh, but we are the back of the pack. I think we're the last car in this pack now. And I don't see any in our oh, mirror. Freaking arca break. So just us. We can only move forward from here. Yeah, here I'm just checking if Evans is on the if Evans on the lead lap and he is. So another massive run. I decided to take it up high. Uh, since that's a shorter line. Oh shorter line. <laughs> um, the length of the trucks. Uh, there was a moment up there with Bearder and Alex and the Reno and we get another huge run through the trial hole. this is the finish of the race we're gonna push gauge across the line trying to get another spot Nothing and change, we get a top 10 in our first race you win that way go in buddy <laughs> uh yeah uh, exciting Ooh, finish win, dude. That was, that was a ton uh, of really fun really exciting uh, I wish I got a better restart, though. Um, but I don't know. It probably would have been different if I got yeah, a better restart. I might have been in the accident. So, it all worked out. We fought back. Lab down to a top 10. Uh, so, here's a replay of that uh, second half of the final lap. Uh, looks like someone blocked Bearder. He gets tagged by Reno. Trying to make a move. Uh, Bearder making a move. And, uh, yeah. So, that checked out the bottom line. If these lap cars here weren't here, <laughs> I probably would have got maybe even Andrew. Uh, but yeah, we all just pile in. We're not getting off the gas. Uh, try to get all the spots we can. Yeah. I kept leaving that in because I don't know, when I was doing these uh, clips, it just kept coming up right there at the end. See, so yeah, what a finish. Um, yeah, can't believe I'm racing. Uh, Top 10 finish. I was not expecting that at Talladega. I just want to keep my car, my truck clean. I kind of did. Um, got involved in an accident. Not through our own fault. But, um, yeah, what a race. I don't know if I'm going to make a video like this for all the races. I just want to do this one for sure because this is my debut. And, um, yeah, I just want to share it. I don't know how many people are watching this, but thanks if you did make it this far. Um, I do plan on Kansas, not live streaming, but recording my live POV and like chopping it up for a video just so it's uh, easier to edit and I'll have the little black box so I can see the relative and all that and kind of get an idea of what's going on. I'm not too sure about that though, because I am struggling with like pit options and focusing on the race. So, um, I don't know. I don't want to throw another thing in the mix, trying to get used to doing live commentary and stuff. 
yeah thanks for watching and maybe see you on the next video